Hi everybody, I'm back with another fun tutorial with easy binding and um, like a very similar method to what I had just done in my previous tutorial. And this one is like an envelope album. So it's a very close step, just a little bit different, but um, I have it so you can like fill these little envelopes in a book. And this is just for like six by eight paper pads, but you can obviously enhance this uh, to 12, you know, by 12 or eight by eight, whatever size you want. Um, I just wanted to try to get rid of some of those six by eight paper pads because I noticed a lot of you really um, prefer that now or, um, you know, it might be just some leftover that you have. So it's a really cute envelope album though. And of course, I just love the fact that it has easy binding, but you can always put this in a accordion album or an accordion album and um, add it to your pages and you'll see just how easy this is. So it, okay, I am using six by eight paper pad, but I cut mine down to five by eight. Um, again, this is, you could really do very similar measurements um, for those who, you know, craft often, um, just whatever paper sizing just use to fit. So, okay, at the five inch score, I'm gonna score mine at a half an inch and four and a half inches. And that's just gonna give us this half inch right here. So half an inch and four and a half, okay? So um, once you do that, go ahead and flip it to the eight inch side and we're going to score at, hold on, let me put my paper the way I want it. Um, we're gonna score it at two and five inches. So, uh, hold on, which way did, my lid is going to be, sorry. My lid is gonna be at the two inch mark. So two and then five. All right, so that is all the scoring we're gonna do. And I've done this twice already because I'm putting three uh, pages in my album. So let's see if I can get you guys to see this with the prints. Okay, so the two inch side is right here, the shorter side. So what I'm going to do is cut this. I'm gonna, we're gonna actually cut that off. So, I'm seeing if you guys can see that line right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this end. And I'm so sorry if you can't see it. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it. Just that line. All right, so it's basically like this at the two inch side. That's all you're doing. And now I'm going to kind of just trim these right here. And I'm going to trim this one. And I'm just going to cut this next score right here where your other line is. I'm going to do it again right on this side. And I'm going to cut it again. Just so we have some wiggle room. Just make a kind of like a little triangle. here. All right, so it's just going to look like that. And now I'm going to take this side, which is my lid, and just round it off. <clears throat> and now we're just going to make our thing. So this is super simple. We're just going to go ahead and fold our scores. You guys know this is going to be easy. And you see I'm kind of using that same technique that I did last time. So I'm folding it like this, but I'm gonna open these up. So if you don't want that little tab hanging right here, you can just like knock it off if you just want it to be envelopes like without anything hanging. But because I did this, I'm gonna leave it. And we're literally just folding it up. It's just like an envelope, but with extra tabs, that's it. So I'm just going to, and again, if you don't want that hanging, you just want this envelope kind of like this, then cut that off. And I'm going to, and another fun thing to do, if you want to do it before you flip this up, if you want to do a cutout or like a punch, like if you want to do something like this, do it now um, before you fold your envelope. And that 
is how I made this adorable little album. How easy is that? So I've done that. Oops, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do my little notch. This is a two inch one, by the way. So my glue is not on all the way yet. So I'm just going to cut that. I love this floral paper. It's so pretty. So I've done that already three times. Um, I love this paper because I feel like today's September 1st. I feel like it's fallish ready I, I know one thing I'm probably decorating for Halloween <laughs> inside at least I don't want my neighbors to think I'm crazy so yeah I'm gonna probably just do inside and maybe a little later do mine what about you guys how do you guys do yours I know some of you are not into Halloween so if you don't want it like this you don't have to do the like triangles but I kind of just liked it to make it different and again I usually just take a clip and someone was asking me I didn't get a chance to respond. I just use this for my eyelet. And I always list everything, you guys, that I use. I try to anyway. I don't think I did in my last video. But I'm just going to add two little punches. And some cute eyelets. I'm just kind of grabbing whatever fits. I like this gold with it though. Or it's not even gold, sorry. It's like a, what color is this? It's like a rose gold, I guess, or not really. And then, oh, you gotta get it in there for it to work. So I have three, and some of you asked me like how many pages for the other eyelet. Um, I would think it could hold about five if you're doing, these are smaller ones, but if you're doing your big eyelets like this, I think it will hold about five pages, but I'm not sure. It's something I'd have to test. So as you see, my eyelets hold it just fine. I don't even have the extra thing in the back, you know, that you can use. And then I like to take just some twine. And this twine is my favorite. It's older. I don't know if they sell anymore. If they do, I'll look. Maybe after this video, I'll check to see if they still sell it. They used to sell these on Etsy. But so I'll look. So I just kind of run this through. But okay, so those maybe watching this be like, what do I use that for? That don't do snail mail, don't really know what to tuck in here. Um, gift cards, you could do tea, you can resize this, make it even larger, put photos in it. Um, if you're doing snail mail, you can put washi samples, you can put stickers, you can really just put a lot of fun things in here. So that is that, and you can see that, and now we can just decorate it a bit. So, oh my goodness, you guys. So today, I'm going to a new salon. I've had my other hair girl for about four years when I was in Atlanta. I'm a little nervous. I'm going like in an hour. I was like, okay, I got to keep my mind occupied. I know hair, it's just hair, but my hair is not easy. It's like thick and wavy and it's not like cutting straight hair. It's not like, oh yeah, just trim it. It's like, no, if they don't trim it right, it can be a disaster. Anyone who has thick or wavy hair knows what I'm talking about. So I like to just put this here and I put a little stamp. I'm using this one and I'm gonna use my thingy. Hopefully, hopefully I stamp okay for you guys. We'll see what happens. I love stamps. You guys know I do, but you see how often I use them because I'm always afraid. Okay, I messed it up. This is why I don't stamp <laughs> on my videos, okay? Will this come off? Nope, I'm stuck with it. So anyway, there's that. It was supposed to look like this. That was too brave of me. And then... Like, I love this because they go perfect. So if you want to put any inserts in there. And then for the edging, um, and I felt so bad, you guys. Someone had um, said, well, what if I don't have all the supplies you have? I'm going to use this and some double-sided foam tape. Uh, 
my ideas are really just for inspiration, you guys. I could go in your craft room and literally create the same thing with whatever supplies that you guys are using. So don't think that you have to have everything um, that I have to make it look nice. Because that's not true. You can have so many different things to make this look really pretty. Here's some stickers. And just like now, like you see me improvise, like a lot of times I don't have duplicates when I do these tutorials. I don't buy two of everything. You guys see that I try to use what I have um, left over or, you know, like I don't have a big lettering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just wing it and I'm gonna use some small lettering. I mean, is it the same thing? No, but does it look good? Yes, so you don't have to, um, you know, use everything that I'm using. That's all I wanted to say. I felt really bad. I was like, no, no, you don't have to have what I'm using. Um, and we've got to use, since it's September 1st, and I'm on a Halloween parade, let's go ahead and use this. Where did I put my tape? So I'm really back in craft mode now. I don't know, something about the holidays, I'm just like ready to go. So, did I put that on right? No, I didn't. How cute is that pumpkin? So I've got this. Actually, that's not supposed to go there. I'm supposed to do something like that. Maybe a little sticker. Let's see. Kind of like that. I kind of did like it in the middle, but it's all right. And then I'm just going to use some more stickers. I'm kind of hanging them off the edge a little bit, if you see, because I like the way it looks. Granted, I don't know if it's practical if you're mailing it, but I like that it has that extra tab right there. And then the last page. And we have been doing some yard work and it looks so good, you guys. I'm so proud of my husband. He's been, I love this. Like if you wanna do quotes or also this is great for anyone who does Bible journaling or whatever, if you wanna put like a verse for someone just to kind of like make their day. Maybe if they're having a hard time, maybe you could put some different like verses in there for them. Um, but um, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I think I'm gonna post the before and after that my husband did because he did such a good job. We've kind of been going back and forth like, what color do we want the mulch and this and that? And he actually let me get the color I wanted and I think it looks so nice. Um, I don't know if that should have been a good spot for that, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and, no, nope, he's gonna be hiding too much. I'm gonna put him here. And that. I'm trying to get these stickers off, sorry. Struggling, I just cut my fingernails short to, on top of it. So let's do that. So here we go, super simple, but I mean, same thing really, just how easy is that? And you could stuff this with so many cute things. Um, You know what also would be fun? Um, you know what? I might save it. I might save it. So if you guys, if there's any newbies who need help with different sizing, I can do this bigger for you, but it's really easy. You literally just eyeball it. Just do half an inch, half an inch on each side and just kind of like eyeball the lid and the bottom. But if not, I think I have an idea for a bigger version of this. It'd be really fun. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a, like a bigger version of this. All right, guys. Thank you so much and hope you like this one.